This is more using prime factorization to help with multiplication, and I'm going to do 12 times 49. I am not really good at multiplying by 9, even though they have you have the finger thing trick deal, and there's a million different tricks. The fact that if I multiply by 9, I have to put down my pencil and try to figure out what the answer is really bothers me. I don't like to multiply by 9s. So instead, I will factor this into some primes and see if I can't scooch them around in such a way that I can avoid multiplying by that 9 or even do the problem in my head. So I can notice that 12 is 4 times 3 or 2 times 2 times 3 and 49 is a square 7 times 7. If I notice here, I've got two pairs of 2's and 7's. So this is 14 squared and then times the 3. 14 squared, because I know my squares up to 15 at least, I know is 196. Couldn't hurt to memorize those just like you memorize things like 2 times 7. 196 times 3 is a little easier to do. I don't really even need to do this out. 3 times 9, oh, there's another 9. Ah! 3 times 9 is 27, 28. 3, 588. Notice I can also take this 196 times 3. This is a little bit of distributive property for you. 196 is 200 minus 4. I can distribute the 3 over this and have 600 minus 12 or, oh, gee golly. There, I'm going to move my paper. 588. So this is your added bonus for this particular video. And that's multiplication using prime factorization on a little bit more difficult problem.